What is the right way to pray? Is there a right way to pray? There's an old saying in Chicago politics that says vote early and often. Well, we're not saying vote early and often, but what we are saying is pray early and often, as early as you can, as often as you can. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. Well, how do you pray without ceasing? Well, simple. God is with you all the time. There's no place that you can go. There's no time that he's not with you. And so simply acknowledge that mere fact that whether you go to the door, to front door, to the back of the house, whether you're on your way to work, at work, uh, at the grocery store, you can acknowledge him in whatever you're doing in that state. You can say a simple word. Because remember, God is not really impressed with the many words that you use. He's not impressed with your vocabulary. There's nothing you can do that can impress him. However, you can please him with your heart. Why is that? Because it's the heart that determines the right way to go about praying. You do realize that some folks only pray over their food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, sometimes when they go to bed. Remember, when you're out today and you're eating your your hamburger, your fish, or your chicken, you're at Chick-fil-A because good Christians won't eat Chick-fil-A, that's fine, but you do realize the chicken died for you. The chicken gave his life for you. The problem is, though, the chicken didn't want to do it. He didn't do so willingly, and also, more importantly, he didn't do so to gain salvation for you, but Jesus did, and so it's that heart of gratitude, that thanksgiving to him, the fact that you recognize that and you're appreciative, that's why you want to speak to a God who would do such a thing. His word says when he was asked, pray in this way, our father who is in heaven. We literally have a God who loves us enough to be our father who is in heaven. How holy and how awesome is his name. There's nothing above his name. There's nothing as wonderful as he is. And so we acknowledge that and we profess that verbally before him. And he says, your kingdom come, your will be done. I want whatever is going on in your life, Lord, to be happening in my life. I want whatever's going on in your world, God, to be happening in my world. Help me to submit to that. And he says, give me this day my daily bread. Whatever I need for today, Lord, give it to me. That is more of your word. Give me more of your word today. Give me more people singing about your word today. Give me more people talking about your word today. Give me the time to pray about your word today, Lord. Give me more of you, your spirit, today. Just for today, I worry about tomorrow because I know that what I need now, you'll give it to me. And then notice what he says. He says, and forgive us our debts. Well, we already know that we're forgiven. Thank you for forgiving me my debts, Lord God, those that I don't know about and those that I do know about, and help me to forgive others as I have been forgiven as well. And please, Lord, keep me from sin. Keep me from the evil one as he wants to come at me. Lord God, help me to resist and to fight sin. But how do we do so? By simply praying. Again, not our many words is going to impress him. None of that, but our heart, a sincere heart, because it's born out of faith. And how do you please him? By faith. The mere fact that you pray demonstrates your level of faith. And so the right way to pray, pray early, pray often, and pray with the right heart. Amen.